Good day everyone! Again, welcome to my YouTube channel and another lesson will be discussed for you today. So, the lesson that I will be discussing is multiplication of conjugates. This will be used in rationalizing denominator by its conjugates. So, this binomial is the conjugate of this one. Conjugate means they have oper opposite operations. So, this is plus and this is minus. So, these two are conjugates of each, of each other. So, this is the conjugate of the other one. Okay, so how do we multiply conjugates? So, we just use, from the foil, we just use first and last. So, what will be our first? So, this will be our first and this will be our last. So, how do we multiply? So, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is, is square root of 9. Then, square root of 5 times square root of negative square root of 5 is negative square root of 25. So, but what is square root of 9? So, this is perfect, which is 3. Minus square root of 25 is another perfect, so this is uh, 5. So, 3 minus 5. So, the product of these two conjugates is negative 2. Okay, what about this one? So, this is the conjugate of the other one and this is the conjugate of the other one. So, they are both conjugates of each other. So, let's multiply the first and the last. So, multiplication of the first, 2 times 2, which is 4 uh, radican 2 times radican 2, you have the square root of 4. Then negative 6 times, a uh, negative square root of 6 times positive square root of 6, this is negative square root of 36. So this is, this is a perfect square. The square root of this is 2. We will multiply it outside the numerical coefficient, which is 4 times 2 minus Square root of 36 is 6. So, this is now 4 times 2, 8, minus 6. So, the product of these two conjugates is positive 2. Here I am again, grade 9 students. Uh, we will now apply what you have learned from the first video, the multiplication of conjugates. So, where do you apply that concept? So, we will apply that in rationalizing the denominator by conjugates. So, conjugate means again, uh, binomial with different operation. So, in rationalizing the denominator of this example, I have here 2 over 2 square root of 3 minus square root of 5. We will just multiply this by its conjugate. So, what is the conjugate of this? Since this is minus, the conjugate is 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 5. Its opposite operation is plus. So, since we don't need to change the value of the expression, so we just need to multiply by 1. Any number multiplied by 1 is the number itself. We did not change anything if you multiply 1. So, how do we make this expression as 1? So, it should be identical, the numerator and the denominator. So, this, this will also be 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 5. So, we are multiplying just 1. Okay, so how do we multiply this? So, if we're going to multiply the numerators, 2 will be distributed to each. So, this is 2 times square root of 3 
plus 2 times the other one, square root of 5. And what about for the denominators? So, we will just use the concept that, th that we have learned from the first video. So, how do we multiply this? We just use the first and the last. So, our first is 2 square root of 3 times 2 square root of 3. So, this is your first. This is your last. So, your first is 2 square root of 3 times itself. So, we just put squared. Minus square root of 5 times uh, negative square root of 5 times positive square root of 5 that is negative so square root of 5 just put squared so by multiplying the first and the last so this becomes 2 times 2 is 4 square root of 3 for the first product and for the second product, we have 2 times, we have 1 here, the outside numerical coefficient of square root of 5. So this is now plus 2 copy square root of 5. Okay, just multiply 2 times 1 outside the, the numerical coefficient outside the square root of 5. Imaginary 1. Okay, so how about this one? So you have 2 times 2, 4, square root of 3 times square root of 3, square root of 9. And then minus square root of 5 times square root of 5, square root of 25. Now let's simplify this and this. So this is now 4 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 5. I just copied the numerator over 4 times the square root of 9 which is 3. So this is now 4 times 3. Then minus the square root of 25 is minus 5. So our final for this uh, radical expression to rationalize it, it will become 4 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 5 over 4 times 3, 12 minus 5, 7. Okay, if you, can, if you can simplify further, since 7 is prime and it does not have same factor for 4 and 2, so this is now your final answer. Let's proceed to the second example. Okay, this is now your second example. So, the second example is square root of 3 over square root of 8 plus square root of 6. So, again, we will just multiply this by its conjugate to rationalize the expression. So, we will multiply by its conjugate. So, the conjugate of square root of 8 plus square root of 6 is square root of 8 minus is square root of 6. And then again, we will make this expression as 1. It should be identical. So, square root of 8 minus is square root of 6. So, this is square root of 3. If you're going to multiply by this, it will be distributed to each of the two. So, this is now square root of 3 times square root of 8 uh, minus, why minus? Because positive times negative. So, negative square root of 3 times square root of 6 over, how do we multiply this? Multiply the first and the last. So, our first is square root of 8 times square root of 8 square root of 64. Then, positive times negative, negative. Square root of 6 times square root of 6 is square root of 36. So, simplifying further, you have 
square root of 3 times square root of 8 is the square root of 24. 3 times 8, the two radicands. Minus square root of 3 times square root of 6 is square root of 18. 3 times 6. Then over, what is the square root of 64? This is 8. Minus the square root of 36 is 6. So, our denominator now is 8 minus 6. So, this is 2. So, it is already rationalized. Okay, then, square root of 4 is not in simplest form. We can simplify, simplify this further. So, you have 24. It has a perfect square factor. So, what is that? It's 4 times 6. So, square root of 4 times 6 is 24. Minus. 18 also has a perfect square factor. So, this is square root of 9 times 2. So, this is not the final answer because it can be simplified. The square root of 24 and the square root of 18. So, this is now your simplest form. So, 4 becomes 2. You have the square root of this, you have 2, copy the remaining square root of 6, which is not perfect. Then, minus, square root of 9 is perfect, so it is, it becomes 3. Copy the remaining radical, which is 2. Over, the denominator, 2. So, this is now your simplest form for this radical expression, the rationalized one. Okay, if you have questions, just ask me. Uh, put your questions in the comment section below for me to reply and answer all your queries. And then, uh, you can... Uh, repeat the video again and again for you to under understand it clearly. Thank you very much grade 9. I hope you will uh, study this lesson at home. Bye!